Hey guys, I'm with Jason, better known as Van Gogh. We want to touch a little bit more on the quads. Uh, you know Stone Blue Airlines for a lot of our custom builds. We're starting to do a lot more with the multi-rotor side. Uh, and much like we do with the aircraft, we've been flying for a while. Yeah. We go through a lot of gear, we test stuff, and ultimately we try to sift that down to gear that just works. Yeah. We want to fly works. more, <laughs> yeah. repair less, mm -hmm. um, have some good gear. And so on the multi-rotors, there's a lot of gear to sift. There really is a lot of stuff. And Jason, you've been setting up a lot of different systems. You're now running the Multi RC. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably one of the most popular frames that we're selling. It's really durable. It's plastic. plastic. Um, yeah, how do you like it? I mean, from a from a racing standpoint. From a racing standpoint, there really is no difference. I mean, it, it is it's up there. It's you. Um, there's no disadvantage. I would say. Yeah. Um, from a durability standpoint. Oh man, it's it's incredible. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to worry about going to replace an arm or. I mean, you've you got know, these you, these carbon fiber race up. quads that are out there. I'm running one of the Voodoo's. We also sell that as well as the X Hopper. Both really great quad frames. Um, they're going to cost you a little bit more money to get into. They definitely perform well. I think people forget that ultimately a quad has four motors, it's four simple. ESCs, it really is. It's <laughs> and it's fit and function. Um, yeah. This one was a bit of a pain. Now this was a custom build that came in and this was a little bit of a pain to yeah, get everything it in. Oh. It's a nice quad. It looks nice. Yeah. It's, it's nice finished, it flies well. But to be honest, does this fly better than this? No. How come? No. <laughs> I think people I get mean, so hung up on, at on that the frames, point, right? At that point, I think it just, it comes down to pilot more than anything. You, know? you need a well-tuned aircraft you need good parts. That's yeah. the first thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think we could give you a pizza box, put the same parts on a pizza box and you could fly okay, it. Okay, maybe well. not a pizza box. <laughs> Guys, you want, you want to look at good frames, definitely check out the 180 and the 235 from Multi-RC if you're just getting in. If you want a pro built uh, on, on one of our quad systems, if it's not a frame we sell, we can also build it for you as well. But we do have recommended parts that we're going to suggest you get into that make your build reliable, they're going to fly well. We mm -hmm. can tune it here at the shop. And we're trying to put out a consistent product. That's what so. we use. Yeah, yeah. That's what we fly. So We're not going to put different gear in this than we fly nah. ourselves. Um, I'm working on this new Mini 180. And Jason's going to set this one up. And guys, it's, it's the same parts that we're going to put basically in the bigger quads um, as far as electronics, flight control. Mm -hmm. And ESCs, then you get ESCs, yep, and just get a consistent product. So. I think sourcing you, out you build a beautiful quad parts. and then guys forget that you're ultimately going to slam it into the ground at yes. 50 or 60 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're going to get better is to push it. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's no reason you can't, I think guys do think like the only race quads out there are these 150, 200 carbon dollar. fiber and boutique. That's really not true. Quads. I mean, we, we had our flying circus festival. You did excellent against some of the other racers that were there at that point. I really wasn't set up. I didn't have the time to put in and I wasn't running. We're now running together. And what's it kind of proved the point. It does. Yeah. It, it does. I mean, I, I yeah. think on, on the end, you it really can, comes down. You can to go you low end that. and have stuff that falls apart or you can go, a reasonable price and something that's well made. The multi RC is made in the States. It's really durable. I mean, I have seen you crash that thing a lot of times mm -hmm. hard and you go and pick it up yeah. and maybe a prop on it and go. You want to feel comfortable in it and that's part of setting this up. I mean, these take some these take a little while they to do. tune and set up. They're definitely more finicky than aircraft and they definitely are not something you just slap some settings and all of a sudden it's a blast. It's no. It's not. I mean, we. I mean, we've been flying. I can remember a couple years ago when we were flying. I mean, we were going slow. Yeah. And we thought we were going fast. <laughs> I mean, where if we were slightly more than flat. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Slow down. I can't yeah. follow you. You know. Now it's like, is my quad straight or not? Come yeah. on. We can mount the camera yeah. straight up. So, so it is. So if if you're getting into this and you're serious about it. Um, invest in a good quality build and a good frame, good parts, and, and Jason can definitely help with the tuning setup, and that's what we do on this side. So you guys end up with a, a product that is fun to fly, and then you can show up at the races and have something that you can beat up, and uh, you know, it's about fun. I mean, we fly toys. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else uh, it's just about a toy. this, how does it have to look fancy and be made out of carbon fiber? It's a toy. Hey, we like bling, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it needs to serve a purpose and it needs yeah. to it needs to be reliable. So, all right, with getting into to flying quads or getting now to the point of everybody wants to race, everybody mm -hmm. wants to have some aerobatic quad. 
What is the biggest hangup that you typically find? I mean, we got the build in, we got parts, but all the parts didn't work. I would feel like that's a big piece of the puzzle is parts it's, that don't go together. It's putting it all together. It's the symmetry of everything working together yeah. and, and you're sourcing things from all these different areas and it's bringing them all together and making them work. Um, right and motors, that just, yeah, you know, right ESC. It just takes, you know, it's trial, it's trial and error. You have to. You have to have done it before to know that it's going to work. Well, if are you running the latest of the latest? I mean, there's always a new board. There's always a, always a new firmware. You know, it's it's like the yeah. 2300 kV motors from Cobra. I mean, that is really an industry standard. We've been mm -hmm. running those on yeah, everything. Rockets. They work fantastic, but you got to pair them with the right ESC, pair the right flight controller, and then mm -hmm. tune it properly. Yeah, and um, then um, we just recommend really simple. Uh, Setups, you know, you don't. Now you want GPS on these OSDs, right? No, <laughs> not for racing. Never. You, you don't need that. So now yeah. I want it to be able to hover perfectly, walk away. And, no, guys, you no. don't want any of that. I mean, we don't have voltage indicator. We're not putting. We're just going basic because you get four and a half, five minutes four of flight minutes, time, yeah. and most of the time you're staying within a football field. Right. Going. So if you're racing you really have no business being looking at your voltage because by the time you come down, you ought to be changing the pack anyway. Yeah. And if you crashed, you're going to set a timer it anyway. It's that simple. Yeah. Set a timer. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Um, go simple, get the right parts. For us in the store, we're stocking a lot of products that go together well, mm -hmm. but we're not selling ready to fly aircraft that aren't customized. Yeah. So they're not, it's, you pick the frame, you pick your motor setup, you pick your ESC, mm -hmm. Um, Emax, to just name one company, is making ready-to-fly quads. What's the downside of, let's just use them as an example, you get a quad that's got built-in ESCs, built-in motor, it's a couple hundred dollars, but it's ready to fly out of the box. How is that different than what we're flying? The difference is you'll spend maybe a little bit more on this, but if something breaks or if something happens, it's a lot easier to replace that one little part than to with some of the ready to fly, I mean, you're, you're talking just going to integrated, the whole thing. integrated yeah, you know? motors, integrated yeah. ESCs on some of these, and then you blow one part, it pretty much disables the entire quad. Unless yeah. you're going to go in and hack in and put a different ESC or something in, um, the ready to fly really should be in the fifty dollar or under. I mean, you're talking micro quad, and that's not yeah. even what mm -hmm. we're dealing with. Anything above and beyond that, your money is going to be well spent buying a good quad frame and buying parts that you can change out. Um, and something that you can crash. I mean, this one I just broke an arm. you can't crash it, and, and it's, you should yeah. erase it. I put a new arm on it. Yeah. I had a motor that went bad. This one I needed to change ESCs out. I burned one up uh, running it. That's the kind of thing where I don't have to scrap the entire quad to get it back running again. Right. There's parts that are readily available, and we're trying to stock those parts that are just mm -hmm. consistent and reliable, because every week, something new's gonna come out, Yeah, but in retrospect, it really is not a lot of difference for most of it. I mean, how many times does a new motor come out and we keep running the same ones? And I mean, it's you want a good quality setup and, and don't feel like you've got to change every single week to the latest mm -hmm. thing. Because one slight revision on a board, I mean, it's not going to make night and day difference. You're not all of a sudden going to uh, be beating everyone else by you know miles. It's just not no, happening. It's not going you know? <laughs> to happen. So quality setup, proper tuning. Uh, stuff that you can replace and repair. Stuff that you can run into a wall and you know you don't Pick have to worry up. about replacing all these yeah. little plastic parts. Yeah, are critical to it working. You know? Yeah, it's like if you don't have this little plastic piece, then oh no, I can't fly now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Quads are a lot of fun though, Jason. Yeah. Thanks for feedback. No problem. And, um, Jason's a really good quad pilot. He's definitely been. Uh, it's fun because we fly together and Jason always is pushing me <laughs> so when yeah. we get we get together and run it's always like this but what's great is that's what you want in this hobby you want to fly with somebody that pushes you and you get better at it mm -hmm. um and ultimately i mean in this it's it's amazing the quads have just gotten so fast now i mean 60 miles an hour on this following aircraft there's no way a couple years ago i'd have been like even trying no. that and now the the quads are almost at i mean at aircraft speeds it's crazy i still enjoy my aircraft for that kind of uh adrenaline rush because at four minutes I'm landing and um, but the quads are great they're fun on the ground and they're fun for racing yeah. so mm -hmm. guys check out the store you can see all the kind of products that we sell any questions leave a comment below thanks for watching